trying to figure out exactly what middle school math items you need in your class. If we don't already know each other, my name is Kathy Martin and I'm the creator of the Pre-Algebra Teachers Middle School Math Membership. We are your one-stop shop for everything you need to teach middle school math. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my five must-have middle school math items in your class. Perfect for back to school or really any time of year. It would be awesome if you started off with these items at the beginning of the year, but it's not even that big of a deal. These are just my personal favorite item to have in my class. I have no affiliation with any of these items. I just want to share what I cannot live without. Okay, item number one is my one touch stapler. This stapler is from Staples and I actually have one from another brand called Swingline. And you're probably wondering, what is the big deal about a stapler? Well, let me tell you. It's literally one touch. It does not get stuck. The staples in here don't get stuck on paper. It does not jam up. I have a stapler that I've kept for years on my shelf that gets stuck all the time. I don't even know why I keep it. I just can't bring myself to throw it away, I guess. Um, but I always tell students like, wait, no, don't use that one because it always gets stuck. Inevitably, a student will use it. It'll get stuck. It's very annoying and I really should just throw it away, but I don't know. It, it has so much history, I guess, but this one touch stapler is amazing. Staples or swing line. The next item that I cannot live without are my graphing post-its. These are sticky. So your students can literally just peel it and stick it on their paper. I don't like to have students write on graph paper. And so when I have them write on line paper, if there's a question, if there's like one or two questions that needs them to graph something, I'll give them one of these. They can stick it on their line paper and then draw their graphs because if they draw their graphs on the regular line paper, it tends to be a hot mess if there's no you know, grid for them to follow. So this is perfect. I could even cut this like in half um, and share it with another student if, if you know, my students don't need this big of a sheet, but it's really not that big of a deal. These are from Post-it. I don't think they're very expensive either. I think you can just get them easily on Amazon. It's probably where I bought them. So I highly recommend. Awesome, awesome tool. Third item is to always have fun with stickers. These are stickers that I bought literally at the 99 cent store. They're just fun, happy faces. I also have fun, just like hamburger stickers. I have fun SpongeBob stickers. Your students will work for stickers. And it's always amazing to me that no matter how old my students get, doesn't matter. They love stickers and they don't cost a lot of money. So, you know, why not? Fourth item, Ticonderoga pencils. I swear by Ticonderoga pencils, there are no other better pencils out there. Full transparency though, they are, they tend to be a little bit more expensive than any other pencil out there, but they write the best, they erase the best, they sharpen the best. I just tend to choose to spend my money. I know they're a little bit more expensive, but I feel like I would rather spend a little extra money on these and have better pencils instead of being annoyed when I go to erase something on my paper and then I get all the erase stains on there. It's just really annoying. Um, but they tend to be on sale at Target during back to school. So I tend to stock up. My very last item that I cannot live without is my Sharp Estimate ELS25 calculator. Now, I love the fact that it's blue, makes it kind of fun, but not only does this calculate, but students can also practice their basic math facts on this. So you can see here, if I push this Q button, you can see it says 25Q and it's got a plus minus multiplication and division sign. This is telling me there are 25 questions that the students are gonna get that include addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. If you want to increase the number of questions, you just push the Q button. It will increase it to 50 or it'll increase it to 100. If you don't want your students to practice all four operations, you just press the little operations button and you can choose from just addition problems. You can choose just subtraction problems. You can choose just multiplication problems or just division problems. I like to have my students practice all four 
And I don't usually like to do 100. I usually like to do 25 or 50. But sometimes I most of the time I let students choose how many problems they want to do. So I let them pick, but I always tell them choose off our operations and get started. So let's just say I pick 25 off our operations. Then I'm going to hit enter and I just want to show you what it looks like. So it's six minus one. So the answer is going to be five. So I just want to show you what that looks like. You'll see a little check mark that will appear on the side here. So if I hit five and then uh, enter, boom, check mark. So let's just say I get this one wrong. I'm just going to hit five. You'll see a little X, boom, wrong. Okay, so now I'm going to try again. Uh, three, X, wrong. So I just have to keep going. And at the top, it tells me what number of question I'm on so students know how many questions, you know, that they are working on, how many questions they have left. And it's just a great way for students, especially students who might finish their work early or, you know, need a little bit of extra practice. This is great for stations just to be able to get them to practice their basic math facts. Again, these are all items that I have no affiliation with, just items that I cannot live without. If you need more just actual back to school activities for your first day or first week, I will link them in the show notes below. Otherwise, feel free to grab and you know search the interweb, search Amazon for any of these items I just showed you because they are truly must have items. Until next time, bye for now.